friend of mine who lives in a Muslim country, uh, he asked me that he is equally, like most Muslims in this world, uh, are heartbroken. He wants to post on his Facebook, his Instagram, uh, that he, you know, um, wants to call out the nation that is conducting the genocide on innocent Muslims. Uh, he wants to post it, but he has been warned, even though he lives in a Muslim country, he has been warned by his friends and his well-wishers to not post it because that country can sometimes take strict action, uh, you know, uh, for this person. But he is pretty adamant that he wants his voice to be heard and he wants to call a wrong thing a wrong thing and create awareness. But people are warning him not to do it. What should he do? Ali, is your friend an influential person? Uh, not too influential, but, you know, so he's a normal person. How much, I'm talking about social media, how much friends and followers does he have on his page? More than 10,000. So that's why he's a little influential, more than 10,000. Okay. Keep the message moderate, condemning what is happening, raising the awareness of the need for justice in order to live in peace. But it is my duty, Muhammad Salah, it is a duty of Zakir Naik, it is a duty of Yusuf Estes and Bilal Phillips and Mufti Mink and all of us to educate the people and educate them smartly and tell them what to do. Uh, if I don't do that, if I bury my head in the sand and I pretend that I live in another world and I do not address this matter, it's haram for me because there are a lot of followers who need to know what can we do. If I don't make dua and I ask people to pray and encourage them to see if there is a, a legitimate way to contribute to support our brothers and sisters, it's haram for me if I neglect that role. Sometimes you live in a country where if you do that, you end up in jail. Then it's not gonna be smart to do it. You understand what I mean? And unfortunately, Correct. some Muslim countries are more stern than even non-Muslim countries. So everyone has their own conditions and they have to behave wisely based on the conditions and the circumstances that they are living in. When people say, you know, at least make dua, what do you mean at least? Don't you know that dua is the sharpest weapon and the most effective and the most powerful? So you're concerned. You know what? When I speak to myself and I say, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to quit this sin which I'm addicted to or quit this haram so that Allah will help our brothers and sisters in Palestine. You think this is in vain or foolish? Wallahi, that's a great help. Because Allah said, In Allah yansurkum wa yusabbit aqadamakum collectively, the entire ummah. So when people say, oh Allah, I'm quitting this sin, or I'm doing this ibadah, or I'm praying tahajjud, or I'm giving any charity, or I'm fasting today, so that my dua or my repentance will help in achieving victory and saving our brothers and sisters, that is appreciated by the Almighty Allah.